Hi guys, so this is video number two. Put one out last week and I promised myself that I would put one video out per week. I wanted to follow up a little bit on last week's video as well, which was about being stuck. Whether it's stuck in a relationship or stuck in a job or stuck in life. After I put that up, I had a few more thoughts about that. For me, in that relationship, I was stuck and I needed to move out. Yet, after I left, I learned a lot of things about masculine and feminine energies and it made me realize what was going on or why things weren't working in the relationship. So sometimes we can feel like there's something missing and we might not quite know what it is and we don't really know how to fix it either. So all of us we have a masculine and a feminine energy within ourselves and whether we're a man or woman we can be more in the masculine and we can be more in the feminine. Now for a relationship to work, you need to have those polar opposites. You need to have someone in their masculine and you need to have someone in their feminine in order for there to be attraction. Now, if both are in their masculine, for example, or if both are in their feminine, then the relationship um, won't work. Or also, it can happen that, um, for example, the female partner wants to be in their feminine but for whatever reason steps up to be in the masculine and but doesn't want to be in the masculine and therefore things also don't really work or also the other way around. Um, so a little bit more in detail about that. There's a few things that are quite different from masculine to feminine but one that is a really really big thing is normally the masculine leads. The masculine is the one that is power driven and um, motivated to achieve goals and, and has a purpose. Whereas the feminine is normally the one that follows, nurtures and comforts, and is more motivated by, by praise and maybe more looking for love rather than achievement and goals. So that is the energies. I'm not saying women do this and men do this. This is the masculine and feminine energy. And so in a relationship it can happen that these things go out of whack for whatever reason. Maybe the woman ends up being the one in charge, the one uh, making all of the decisions. Mm, maybe because she's already in a strong masculine has attracted a, a man who's in his feminine. So this can be a really big one and this is actually one that's uh, come up a lot of times um, for a lot of women they um, they recognize this behavior in themselves or they recognize this problem in their relationship. Um, if you are interested to learn more about this, feel free um, to hit me up and we can have a chat about it. Also, there are some really interesting books written by David Data. The one more targeted towards women is Dear Lover and the one more targeted towards men is The Way of the Superior Men. However, I have uh, read both and and also my partner has read both. And it's really interesting also to see the other side, to see the one that is targeted for the other sex. Um, so this might have given you some food for thought or um, you might have just realized what is going on in your relationship. So hopefully this helps some of you lovely people out there. And I look forward to hearing from you and speaking to you again soon. Bye.